drop tailgates at 17 Hanging on your every word But if you ever let me, I'd change your autograph Please rise. Twenty minutes late, not bad. <laughs> Get used to it, Corey. <laughs> so, I'm glad you guys both made it. But you know what? We were so sick of COVID. We were going to have a party anyway, with or without you. But it'll be more fun with you here, I'm sure. Jess, you look amazing. That extra twenty minutes helped. <laughs> Corey, you cleaned up pretty good for a farm boy too. You got all the grease, all the tractor grease out from those fingernails. I see. We're good. Anyway, everyone, please be seated. We'll get this uh, show on the road. Or do you guys just want to stand here <laughs> and look at each other? 
Anyway, welcome everyone. Uh, I know Jess and Corey are uh, extremely grateful that you are all here today to be witnesses and to support their decision to become husband and wife and just to be part of this very special day, uh, the ceremony, <laughs> supper, and obviously a, a few dances later. So you know, we all know that a wedding is uh, just a sensational, a fantastic day, uh, exciting day filled with hopes, dreams, and celebration, of course. But before we get the party started, we actually got to take time to marry these two. So that's what we're here to do now. And as part of that, we need to take some time to reflect on what it really means when you two agree to become husband and wife. It's an incredible commitment. It's uh, a commitment, uh, a lifelong commitment that, uh, you know, despite your love for one another and how you feel about each other today, um, you know, there will be times that your marriage, your relationship will be stressed. And uh, I mean, after all, Jess, you're marrying a farmer, right? So you know what happens if it don't rain in June? <laughs> Things can get stressful. So I, I'm asking the two of you to be prepared for some challenging times. But remember, there's certain things you can't control, like, like the weather or the price of grain or what the neighbors are doing or saying about you, those types of things. But what you can control is your feelings and how you deal with those stressful times if you have them. So in those times, remember, try to control your feelings, control the emotions, and just always approach things openly, honestly, and together. And also remember that you got a whole bunch of friends and family around you, and they're, they're there if, you, if and when you need their support. So don't be scared to reach out and ask for their help if or when you need it. And speaking of family, I reached out to your parents and I asked them if they had any advice for the two of you that might help contribute to a, a healthy marriage. They sent me a few lines, and, you know, and I, I think they really nailed it, so I need you two to pay attention here. <laughs> this, is, this is their words. When issues arise, make an effort to see things from each other's point of view. If you can do this, it will help lead to a meet in the middle solution that you can both agree to and feel good about. They also said, every marriage will have problems, but in order to overcome those, you must be willing to be flexible and forgiving. And no matter what, always believe in your love for each other. All damn good advice, I'd say. So to Elizabeth and Kevin, Bob and Brenda, thank you. I know those came from the heart, and it means a lot to these two. So now just to build a bit more on what your parents said, uh, these next few words are some, let's call them additional ingredients for a healthy marriage recipe. Always let your hearts take the lead, not your emotions. Take time to do things together, deeply listen to one another, and talk about your dreams and how the two of you are going to achieve those dreams. And no matter what, never be scared to show your love. If you feel like holding hands, hold hands. If you feel like hugging, hug. If you feel like kissing, kiss. If you feel like I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, so it's probably enough advice about marriage. Jess said she wanted to keep this fairly short, so we'll, we'll move along. <laughs> you heard every word I said, right? Okay, okay. So, Corey, uh, as, you, as you probably know, or as you know, I coached Jess in hockey for quite a few years. I always loved how she played the game. Um, <laughs> but more than that, um, I, I loved how she stood up for her team and, and how she was never happy unless the team was successful. And I know she's going to bring that, that same 
attitude to your marriage. <laughs> in other words, I know you're getting a girl that'll do whatever she has to to make this marriage a success. But I will warn you, <laughs> be careful, <laughs> especially in an argument. And if she thinks she's losing, she will drop the gloves. <laughs> she will drop the gloves. <laughs> so uh, you might want to have a referee close by. <laughs> but seriously though, with Jess's attitude and along with your personality and, and your work ethic, uh, you know, I think everyone here agrees that the two of you are a winning combination. And we're all proud to be here today to, to witness and celebrate that with you. But now, before we get on with the wedding vows, I, I want to share something else from your parents. I also asked them for a few words that best describes each of you. This is what Bob and Brenda said about Corey. He can be described as a kind, gentle person with a great sense of humor, which really serves him well and allows him to see things from the lighter side. He is also kind, gentle, and fun-loving. And this is what Kevin and Elizabeth said about Jess. Jessica is strong-willed, determined, and maybe a little stubborn at times. <laughs> really? <laughs> I've never saw that. <laughs> but deep down, she is extremely loving, caring, and a sensitive person. So based on your parents' description, I think we have a match made in Kenora and Tisdale. Perfect match. <laughs> and getting married in Nippon. <laughs> so that's about it for all the other words. Now we got to get down to the vows. So with that, it's time for you guys to express your commitment to each other through the following wedding vows. I now ask each of you in the presence of these witnesses to declare repeating after me. First you, Corey. And I'll just hold, maybe hold this a little bit closer. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Corey Brent Kidney. Why I, Corey Brent Kidney. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Jessica Aaron Pelchevich. To Jessica Aaron Pelchevich. Now, Jess. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I do not know. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Jessica Aaron Pelchevich. Why I, Jessica Aaron Pelchevich. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Corey Brent Kidney. To Corey Brent Kidney. Very good. No stumbling at all. <laughs> so now, Corey, I call upon you with these persons here present as witnesses. Do you, Corey Brent Kidney, take this woman, Jessica Aaron Pelchevich, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. What did you say? I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, Jessica, I call upon you with these persons here present as witnesses. Do you, Jessica Aaron Pelchevich, take this man, Corey Brent Kidney, to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Pardon? I do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> good, good. Whew. And now you will seal your promises with the rings that you are about to exchange, which are the symbol of your life to be shared together. Kyle, you remembered those? Oh boy. So Corey, please repeat after me. Jessica, this ring I give. Jessica, this ring I give. Is a token and pledge. Is a token and pledge. And as a sign of my love and devotion. And as a sign of my love and devotion. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. You may place the ring on her finger. Jessica, you got the other ring. Please repeat after me. Corey, Corey, this ring I give. Corey, this ring I give. As a token and pledge. As a token and pledge. And as a sign of my love and devotion. And as a sign of my love and devotion. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. You may place the ring on his finger. 
So, before we uh, make this official, we have some paperwork to do over there, so we'll go over and sign the formal and binding documents, and then we'll be back here to make an announcement. Well, all the paperwork is signed, so uh, uh, I, I, Malvin Edward Cadron, let's just, let's just do this. I, Malvin Edward Cadron, a marriage commissioner by virtue of the powers vested in me by the Marriage Act in the province of Saskatchewan, do hereby pronounce you, Corey Brent Kidney, and you, Jessica Aaron Pelchavich, to be husband and wife. You may kiss. Yeah, one more left. 